the volume and reach of connected things are rapidly expanding. In 2020, it is the first time that the number of IoT connections surpassed the number of non-IoT online connections. There were 11.7 billion IoT connections in 2020 versus 10 billion non-IoT connections. Researchers estimated the number of IoT connections will swell to 30 to 50 billion by 2025. To let them function well, the communication network between the devices is crucial. This is where IoT communication protocols makes an entry into the IoT world. Hey, hello guys, this is Shubhabrato and welcome to our channel Circuit Edition. In today's video, I will discuss about top 10 IoT protocols which is widely used in domestic and industrial purpose. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing because I bring new videos in every week on robotics, IoT and DIY stuff. So don't skip the video, watch till the end, let's get started. IoT protocols are differentiated in two parts. The first one is IoT network protocols and the second one is IoT data protocols. First, understand the IoT network protocols. IoT network protocols are designed to connect medium to high power devices over the network. IoT network protocols allow data communication within the scope of the network. HTTP, LoRaWAN, Bluetooth, ZigBee are some examples of the popular IoT network protocols. Now understand IoT data protocols. IoT data protocols are designed to connect low power IoT devices. Without any internet connection, they are capable of providing end-to-end -end communication with the hardware. Though the connectivity in IoT data protocols can be done via wired or cellular network. MQTT, COAP, AMQP, XMPP are some of the examples of popular IoT data protocols. Now I will discuss some communication protocols which is widely used in consumer and industrial IoT. Number 1. Pi5 It is IEEE 802.11n standard based and its frequency works in two ranges in 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands and its range is generally 50 meter and can go up to 100 meters with proper setup. The data rate is set can be set up to 600 Mbps maximum and we generally use the data rate in between 150 to 200 Mbps and these data rates also depend upon the channel frequency and the number of antenna used. Number 2. Bluetooth. Bluetooth works in the frequency range 2.4 GHz which is, is also comes under ISM band. The range of Bluetooth is approximately 50 meter and for smart Bluetooth device or Bluetooth low energy device this range can go up to 150 meters. The data rate is 1 megabit per second. Bluetooth is one of the most important short range communication technologies. It is suitable to send small chunks of data for personal products like smartwatch. Highly suitable for mobile devices. It is the significant IoT protocol. Number 3. Zigbee. Zigbee 3.0 based on IEEE 802.15.4 standard. Its frequency range is 2.4 GHz and its range is approximately 10 to 100 meter. And if I say about the data rate, so it is 250 kilobit per second. It's again one of the important protocols. It has some significant advantages in complex systems offering low power operation, high security, robustness and high scalability, as well as a position to take advantage of wireless controls. Like Bluetooth, there is a vast user base of Zigbee. Number 4. MQTT. MQTT stands for Message Query Telemetry Transport. It is ISO and IEC 20922 standard. Its data rate can go up to 256 megabit in size. MQTT is a lightweight message protocol for sending simple data flows 
from sensors to applications and middleware. It works on top of the TCP IP network for supplying reliable yet simple streams of data. Number 5. OPC UA. It is one of the most important communication protocols for Industry 4.0 and the IoT. It comes under the industrial M2M communication protocol. Like MQTT, it is a platform independent standard through which various types of systems and devices can communicate by sending requests and response messages between the clients and servers. Number 6. Cellular Network It is GSM, GPRS, Edge, UMTS, HSPA and LTE standard. It has several frequency ranges. 900 megahertz, 1.8, 1.9 and 2.1 gigahertz. Its range for GSM is maximum 35 km and 200 km for HSPA. Its data rate for downloading is average 35 to 170 kilobit per second. Number 7. Z-Wave. Z-Wave is aligned standard and its frequency varies depending upon the manufacturer. Its range in between 30 meter to 40 meter and the data rate is 0.3 to 50 kilobit per second. This wireless communication protocol is based on low power RF communication technology. Highly preferable for home automation products such as lamp controllers, sensors among many others. Number 8. NFC or Near Field Communication. It is ISO and IEC. 18000-3 standard. Its frequency is 13.56 MHz and its range is 10 cm and it can transfer data in speed of 100 to 420 kilobit per second. NFC is one of the popular communication protocols these days. With the huge market share of smartphones, this protocol allows customers in making contactless payment through their smartphones. Number 9. LoRaWAN. LoRaWAN stands for Long Range Radio Wide Area Network. LoRaWAN frequency is various for the different manufacturers. Its range is approximately 2.5 km for urban environment and can go up to 15 km for suburban environments. Data rate is in between 0.3 to 50 kilobits per second. LoRa provides low-cost mobile security to IoT, smart cities, and industrial applications. It's optimized for low power consumption and supports a large network of millions of devices. Number 10. Sigfox. It has a frequency range of 900 MHz. 30 to 50 km range is for rural environments and 3 to 10 km range for urban environments. Data rate is 10 to 1000 bits per second. Sigfox communication is aimed at the low cost M2M application areas where wide area coverage is required. The Sigfox wireless interface allows any communication requiring a minimum amount of power consumption. So if you are looking for a better choice of remote devices that need to be run on battery power for very extended periods without the need for battery change or maintenance, then you should go for Six Fox communication protocol. If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and if you are new to this channel, then make sure you subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for further notifications. And if you want to follow me in uh, social media, the social media handles are uh, given in the description. So follow me over there. And the most important thing, be creative.